Crashing over the clouds and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And on today's show, we'll meet two of the most dangerous animals in the world. Oh, come on, Jake. You and I aren't that dangerous. Oh, oh sure, we get a little wild on Saturday night, but... No, uh... no, no, Stinky. I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about the hippopotamus and the African buffalo. Two very dangerous animals. Well, are they really that dangerous? Oh, yes. You have to be very careful around these animals. They're Really wild. Wild? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll be right back. <laughs> and so will we. And now it's time for. That's amazing! Uh, hey! Uh... Today, we look at one of the most dangerous of all land animals the polar bear. The polar bear? Like Jake, get out of here. Oh, it's true, Armstrong. With its powerful paws and enormous teeth, the polar bear can be very, very dangerous. A polar bear can kill his prey with one bite. One bite? And a half. Oh, that's how it got to be one of the world's largest meat-eating animals. The polar bear. Uh, another animal that makes you nervous and will make you say yes. <gasps> That's amazing! Now, Armstrong, calm down. I'm only dangerous when I'm hungry. Get that bear a pizza. <laughs> oh, Armstrong! I'm not kidding. Mmm, <laughs> sounds good. And now we'll be safe from dangerous animals, Jake. <sighs> Stinky, what is that? Oh, that's a cage. <laughs> Stinky, animals shouldn't be in cages. They should be in the wild. We don't put our guests in cages. <laughs> oh, Jake, Jake, this isn't for guests. It's for us. Oh, you see, oh, all I do is let go of this rope. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Stinky. <laughs> I, I can't believe you did that. Now, come on, help me get it off here. <laughs> but, but Jake, Jake, <laughs> you -hoo. we're safe in here. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll get the cage off later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, send out the dangerous animals. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Here she is all the way from Africa. Africa. Phoenicia, the hippopotamus. <laughs> ah. Stinky Jake, it's great to be here. <laughs> But what in the name of the Nile are you doing in that contraption? Oh, oh, well, well, this cage is here to protect us from you. You see, Jake says you're really dangerous. Well, <laughs> little old me dangerous? Well, uh, I just meant that if a hippo was attacked, uh, you could be very dangerous. <laughs> Jake, you're absolutely right. We hippopotami can be quite dangerous if we're not left alone. Let me show you oh. what I mean. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, 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 sorry. Let's go to where hippos spend most of our time, in the water. Mm. The water helps us to support our weight. Oh. And do you notice how our eyes, nose and ears are all on the top of our head? Yeah. That lets us see, hear and breathe while the rest of us is underwater. Wow. Now, wait a minute. Is that hippo walking underwater? Right. Hippos can hold their breath for up to six minutes before we need to come up for air. Gee, Phoenicia, you hippos don't seem so dangerous to me. We aren't, unless we're threatened. Look at these two. They'll try to scare each other off, but if one doesn't back away, then they'll bare their teeth and rarely go at each other. Hippos have large teeth and big, powerful jaws. That's what makes us so dangerous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't worry, Jake. We're safe in here. Oh, the only thing I'm worried about, Stinky, is how we're gonna get out of this cage. Oh, I'd love to help you with that, but I'm afraid we hippos are quite clumsy when we're out of the water. Mm. We'd rather be packed in tight like this and stand out on dry land. Gee, I think you guys should get a bigger pool. Oh, we don't mind. Hippos love to be together. In fact, sometimes as many as 150 hippos live together in a herd. Well, if all those hippos can get along, why were those two fighting before? They were fighting about territory, Jay. Oh. You see, a male hippo will stake out a certain part of the river for his mates and children. If another male tries to come into his territory, that's when the trouble begins. Mm. Now, those hippos don't seem so clumsy out of water. We can run, not very far or fast, but if we have to, we can gallop for short distances. So hippos gallop? Right, just like a horse's gallop. In fact, the word 
hippopotamus means horse of the river. Whoa. Oh, but we're not really related to horses. No. Our closest relatives are wild pigs. Oh. Though we certainly don't eat like pigs. We may be big, but we eat very little. We just graze. You see, hippos spend most of the day just resting in the water. Then in the late afternoon, when the sun isn't so hot, we go out with our young hippos to look for food. Well, you said you didn't eat that much. How can you be so big? Yeah, is it a glandular problem? No. Resting in the water most of the time doesn't burn up that many calories. Oh, well, I'll have to remember that. Uh, so thank you, Phoenicia, for being such a wonderful guest. And for not attacking us. Mm. No, good luck to you getting out of that cage. <laughs> Bye. Hey, hey, Jake, yeah. I know how to get us out of this cage. Oh, you do? How? Uh, Bunny! yoo oh, 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 good idea. Bunny! Uh, Bunny! Uh, <clears throat> We'll be right back after baby, baby talk. talk. Where am I? Who turned on the lights? Oh, hey, Mar. Is that you, Mar? 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 I'm here, Mar. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Mar. I wonder where that baby went. Here I am, Mar. Mar! And I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm up. Well done. Now, meet the herd. Mm. Hi, herd. Oh, boy. Being born is hard work, you know that. Yep, well, you're here now, so... Tag. You're it. <laughs> Me? It? Now? Well, how about you be it? Oh, boy. I have to. <laughs> you can't catch me. A <laughs> frisky little thing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, good. It lift this side. Okay, okay. bunny. Okay. <gasps> hi, bunny. cousin Jinky, uh, stinky, uh, winky, uh, winky. Uh, what you doing in that silly cage? <laughs> well, it, it was Stinky's idea. Yeah, yeah, it's to protect us from dangerous animals. Oh. That's right, but but now we can't get out. Now, do you think you could pull on that rope and tilt the cage up? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, I'm really, really good at pulling ropes. <laughs> okay, Bunny, great. Now, you just get a good grip on that rope. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, and we should be out right after this. <laughs> Gather round and hear the mighty story. How I fought the fight until I brought them to their knees But I'm not out to grab for fame and glory Just because I fought 10,000 single-handedly I'm not scared of things that make your flesh grow cold I'm not scared of things that make you crawl I'm not scared of things that make your backbone fold Cause I'm not scared of anything at all I don't say that I'm a handsome hero Just because the enemy was 40 stories high Just because my army totaled zero I don't say you need to call my name and start to cry I'm not scared of things that make your flesh grow cold I'm not scared of things that make you crawl I'm not scared of things that make your backbone fold Cause I'm not scared of anything at all. Okay, Bunny. Okay. Now, on three, give it a great big pull. Ready? Okay. Yeah. okay. One, One, two, two three. three. Uh, uh, Oopsie, bearski. Oh. Well, thanks anyway, Bunny. Oh, yeah, uh, Any nice time. Yeah. Wow, this rope's just right for jump rope. Giddy, giddy. Ick a back a soda cracker. Ick a back a boo. Ick a back a soda cracker. Out goes you. Oh. Stink. Jake, what happened? It's a long story. Yeah, it all started we when... Thought, not now, Stinky. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're ready for a quiz. Uh, I love a captive audience. <laughs> oh. yeah. The question is, which of these animals does not have tusks? The African buffalo, the elephant, the walrus. Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Well, Stinky, do you know which of those animals did not have tusks? No, I'm still trying to figure out what Ickabacka Soda Cracker means. <laughs> Ready for the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Here it comes. The animal that does not have tusks is the African buffalo.
buffalo. The African buffalo has horns. The other two animals have tusks. Believe it, cause it's true. An elephant's tusks can grow to be three and a half meters long and can weigh as much as 220 pounds. That's a lot of tusks. These elephants are using their tusks to show how strong they are. They also use their tusks for defense and for stripping bark off trees. Hippos have tusks too. They're not as big as an elephant's, but a hippo's tusks, like an elephant's, are really just overgrown teeth. What do we have here? Walruses! A walrus long tusks are modified canine teeth which grow from the upper jaw throughout the walrus life. The tusks of a bull walrus can grow to be one meter long. We know that buffalo have horns, not tusks. But what about those warthogs? Warthogs have two sets of tusks. The upper set turns outwards, then upwards and inwards, forming a semicircle. Do you see the other set of tusks coming out of the bottom jaw? These two sets of tusks form a sharp cutting weapon. Tusks can be very useful, believe me! Well, as you can see, we're still stuck in the cage. And that's lucky for us, because our next guest is one tough customer. Oh, well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Here he is from south of the Sahara. Sahara. Travis, the African buffalo. What the? What's going on around here? Where am I? Nobody better be messing with me. Who are you guys? Oh, uh, welcome, Travis. I'm Jake. And I am Stinky. Well, you guys must be dangerous. That's why they got you in a cage, huh? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're in the cage because Jake says you're dangerous. Yeah? yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, Jake is right. Let me show you. Oh, uh, oh good. Oh, yeah. on the screen. There we are, out see. on the plains. Oh. Hundreds, sometimes thousands of African buffalo will travel together as part of a herd. Mm. Mm. Safety in numbers, right? Yeah, you pick on one of us, and everybody comes running. That's how we can protect our young buffaloes from harm. <gasps> Whoa, you sure look strong. And look at those horns. Yeah, those horns are our main defense. Watch. Uh, yeah, you can see that one of those lions is limping. He's already had a run in with these buffaloes. Oh. Some lions just don't learn their lesson. Well, now, what are those lions doing? Well, they circle around the herd, trying to get a younger or weaker buffalo all alone. But we don't like that to happen, so we chase them off. Oh, hmm. well, lions are the king of the jungle. Aren't you afraid? Well, I might be if I were alone. When I'm with my herd, it's the lion who should be afraid, not me. Well, what about flies? I hear they're not afraid of you at all. Stinky. Oh, that's okay, Jake. Yeah, it's a fair comment. To be honest, flies and ticks are a real problem. That's why we like to have these oxpecker birds around. Oh. Yeah, they eat all the little pests right off our hide, and that helps keep us clean. Yeah, how's a fella supposed to enjoy a meal with flies buzzing around all the time? Well, it's a problem, but between the birds and swatting our tails, we can keep the flies from being too pesky. Hey, what's that little bird doing in your nose? Oh, well, yeah, it's no big deal, Stinky. That bird's just looking for flies. So oh, you must be pretty thick-skinned. Well, yes, we are. The fact is, our hides are so thick, we can run through bushes and brambles that other animals wouldn't go near. It's one more way we protect ourselves from danger. Ooh, battling flies and lions, running through bushes, having birds up your nose? Boy, it sure isn't easy being an African buffalo. No, but we love it. Yeah, most animals know enough to stay away from us, and as long as no one bothers us, we're happy just standing around eating. Well, what do you eat? Grass, shrubs. Our sense of smell is so sensitive, we can tell if a plant is safe to eat or if it's poison. Now we can even sniff out if there's a lion nearby. Unless there's a bird in your nose. <laughs> well, of course, that's what we enjoy more than anything. The mud baths. <laughs> mm, oh, that's cool. Well, it sure is. The mud keeps us cool in the hot sun, and it gets rid of flies and other pests that make a home on our hide. Well, you ought to give it a try, Jake. I will, if I ever get out of this cage. Oh, well, uh, want me to help? Oh, please do. Well, all right. 
Yeah, oh, this should be good. Oh, 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 yeah, whoa, oh, oh, careful oh, with the horn! Oh, 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 hey! Oh, Travis, Travis, uh, on second thought, I think we'd rather hear you sing a song. <laughs> oh, well, uh, good idea. I'm on my way. Mm. No good. Oh, uh, mm. Wow. Uh, and now, here's Travis with... Oh, oh careful. Uh, uh, the African Buffalo Song. <laughs> I'm big, I'm bad, don't mess with my baby. I'm big, I'm mean, I mean what I say. The answer's no, not yes, so maybe. You don't want grief, don't get in my way. Mm. By comparison to me, a lion's like a harmless flea. Mercy on the one who scorns One big set of five-star horns <laughs> I'm big, I'm bad, don't mess with my baby I'm big, I'm mean, I mean what I say The answer's no, not yes, or maybe You don't want grief, don't get in my way I hope by now you've taken note Of the guy with the horns and the shaggy coat Hippos, hogs, and gators, too. Step aside and let me through. Ooh, I'm big, I'm bad, don't mess with my baby. I'm big, I'm mean, I mean what I say. The answer's no, not yes, or maybe. You don't want grief, don't get in my way. Don't get in my way. Great song, Travis. Yeah, thank you. Good luck getting out. Thanks. <laughs> oh. You okay, Stinky Travis almost got you with his horns. Whew, I came this close to being skunk kebab. Mm. Well, uh, come on, come on, let's try pushing this side of the cage. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh just a minute. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and now, here's Bunny and Armstrong. Today on Animal Awards... Which one of these animals is the most dangerous vegetarian? Ve vegetarian? Vegetarian means that they don't eat any meat, just plants. I knew that. Is it the tortoise? Hmm, the hippopotamus. Or the incredibly dangerous rabbit. Rabbits aren't dangerous. You wouldn't say that if you were a carrot. Hmm. Today's animal award winner is the hippopotamus. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Phoenicia. That's it, Jake. You can do it. You can do it, babe. Yeah. You know, you know something, Stinky? What? You could help, too. And who would be here to encourage you? Oh, oh no, Jake. My job is to make sure you give it everything you've got. Well, you're right. What's this? Uh, are you ready for a story? Oh, yes. But then it's back to pushing. All right. Mm. Once upon a time, there was an African buffalo calf named Blossom, who was much loved by everyone including Mina the Hyena. One day, Blossom went off to play. Everyone watched her leave, including Mina the Hyena. Now, when Blossom's dad, Big Barry, saw Mina sneak up on Blossom, he didn't like it. And when Mina the Hyena pulled Blossom's tail, Big Barry was not happy at all. Let go of my tail, laughed Blossom. When Blossom's mother heard this, she came running. Come along, Blossom, she said. You mustn't play with nasty hyenas. Who is she calling nasty, said Mina's friend, Mona. Blossom hung her head. I just wanted to play, she said. Well, you have a whole herd of African buffalo to play with, said Blossom's mother. And she led Blossom back to the safety of the herd just in time for her nap. The end. Whoa, great uh, story, Jake. Uh, 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 thank you, Stinky. Uh, okay, now back to pushing. Ready? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, push. Armstrong? Armstrong, where are you? Where are you? Shh. Don't yell. Don't hear you. Who? Oh. All the dangerous animals around here. You mean Travis and Phoenicia? Mm -hmm. Armstrong, they won't hurt you. Well, well, I, I think we should get out of here. Uh, just in case. Good idea. Yeah. Armstrong, okay. this way. What? Oh, no, no, I'm not going in there. Oh, yes, Armstrong. It's habitat time. I'm not going through that door. There are dangerous animals in there. Oh, Wait. look. Oh, An African riverside. Teeming with dangerous hippos. Why, look at them all. Lots of animals. 
dangerous or otherwise, gather by the riverside to drink and, and get cool. Hey, 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 we're flying. Funny, I gotta tell you, I'm scared of heights. But this gives us a really, really good view of the river. Oh, there's a hippo. Huh? Hey, she's coming to get us. No, she's not, Armstrong. She's just having a run. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, was that a dangerous crocodile? Let's go see. Bunny, are you nuts? We could be eaten by that dangerous... River otter? Somehow, I doubt it, Armstrong. Hey, now, wait a minute. There's a crocodile, but now it's my turn to be dangerous. <laughs> hey, otter! Over here! yoo hoo, -hoo! Uh, guess it doesn't want to play. Oh, luck, an elephant. This must be the Luanga River. I never heard of it. It flows through the Luanga Valley. Oh, that Luanga River. The Luanga Valley is known as the last kingdom of the elephants. Are you sure it's not the last kingdom of the wildebeests? Look at them all. Hey, uh... Well, where are they all going in such a hurry? Well, wildebeests migrate in huge herds, often with several thousand animals in them. They're looking for food, and they don't let anything, not even a river, stand in their way. Cool. Look at them go. Wow. Ooh. Hey, hey, where are we going in such a hurry? Has there been a flood here or something? The Wanga Valley floods every year, so it's a good thing elephants like water. Elephants are good swimmers, and when there isn't enough water to swim in, they can always use mud to keep cool. Cool. Time's up, Armstrong. So, Armstrong, what did you think of the African Riverside? That ah, could have been worse. For our habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And I'm starting to chicken hawk. Until next time. Yeah, you know, it could have been better. I could have gotten the phone number of that cute crocodile bird. <sighs> See if Stinky and Jake are still in that cave. Go for it, Jake. Oh, I can't. They are. Ready for another quiz? Oh, sure, why not? Oh, whatever. Here it is. And the question is, what animal is this? Can you tell? Give it a look. I'll be back in a buzz. Hmm. Do you know what that animal was, Stinky? No, Jake, I do not. And to tell you the truth, I can't take it anymore. I gotta get out of here. Warden, Warden, let me out of here. Oh, hey, boy. is anybody out there? Ready for the answer. Please. Ready as you'll ever be. Help, 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 help. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. What animal is this? It's a warthog. Believe it, cause it's true. I gotta get out of here, please, somebody help! Stinky! Pay attention to me, I'm coming! Stinky, I'm Stinky! Coming. Please Stinky! Help me. Stinky! What? You can stop now, there's nothing we can do about it, except say thank you to our special guest, Phoenicia the Hippo, and Travis the African Buffalo. Goodbye! Bye, everybody! Until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. So long! Yeah, you know where to find us!